Welcome to another video at John's Treasure Chest Tools for Success. We're still going to use Google because Google does have some fantastic tools. And this is Google Chrome. Google Chrome is a browser. Uh, it's likely, probably more likely than not, that you're using uh, Internet Explorer supplied by Windows as your browser. You know, your window into the Internet. Uh, if you are, then that's a nightmare, an absolute nightmare, because it's a piece of junk. There are two browsers that you should be using if you're interested in making money online and doing all the research that comes with it. And today we're going to talk about Google Chrome. So one of the ways to get Google Chrome is to go into the search engines, type in the word Google Chrome, and you will see it's number one, obviously. Click that, and you'll be in to Google Chrome and this is where you can download it. It says download Google Chrome. Okay, Click that and you're in. Why would you want to use Google Chrome over Internet Explorer? Well apart from the fact that Internet Explorer has very few add-on tools um, which you need as an internet marketer. You need it for someone who needs to do fast research. It's important that you have certain marketing tools at your disposal. Now a browser that allows you to do that and gives you that information is a great tool. So that's one of the reasons why Internet Explorer uh, is not the best. Also, like it says here, Google Chrome launches immediately. Anyone who's got Internet Explorer knows how slow it is starting up. Google Chrome loads websites quickly. It's super fast. Absolutely super fast. And it also makes sense that if you're going to make use of Google as a search engine, it would make sense to have a browser that was supplied by them. So that's another great thing. So let me show you some of the functions of Google Chrome and then you can see for yourself why it's so much faster. And if you are using Internet Explorer, the minute you change over to this, you'll understand why straight away. So when you're looking to make money or when you're looking to get your website in a higher position, you know, when you're doing your research and such like, it's really important that the tools you use give you instant results, you know, so instantly you can see what's going on. And the Google browser, Chrome, is one of those browsers that just give you more information by using what they call extensions, which are pretty much add-ons, like little plugins that go into the browser to allow you to see things. For instance, these images here obviously show me what that web page looks like connected to this so that we can see what's going on. That's a great little thing to look at. And then, obviously, if I come over here and click on this one here, it's deactivated at the moment, that's why it's white. We click on that. I can enable that. And what that is, is a plugin called SEO Quake, which is a really powerful tool. And if I refresh that page, I'm then shown a box that you see here which tells me different bits of information this PR is the page rank that's the page rank that Google gives that page for being relative um, which helps you score higher in the Google search engines so the higher your page rank the more authority that you have okay and the numbers are from 1 to 10 to get to 1 is easy to get from 1 to 2 is harder than it was to get from 0 to 1 and to get from 2 to 3 is much harder than it was to get from 1 to 2 and so each time you step up a number it's actually much much harder harder to get that page rank so anyone with a high page rank is an important person to know two reasons one we're interested in why that person so powerful and what it is that they're doing on their website to make them so powerful and the second one is we need to know the competition to see if it's worth taking it on so I've just typed in the word yeast infection here and it's showing us obviously results. The first one is saying nothing, the second one is saying six. The, we're not here to tell why that what is, it's just because the keywords are a little bit better. But you know, this tool allows me to to sort that from high to low or low to high so we can instantly find out who are the real big kickers for that keyword and that niche. And that's an important thing because now we can go in there and find out what it is that makes them great. So that's a great tool. That's the kind of thing that Chrome gives you. The next one down is how many uh, index pages that website has as far as Google is concerned. 
and then it shows you the same for Yahoo and Bing which is now going to alter of course because they've become one thing and then it shows that Alexa rank which is an important thing to know that's a really high rank for instance this website according to Alexa is ranked 1469 in a competition pool of probably 20 billion okay because that's what we're talking about how many websites that that are beyond this that get the amount of traffic okay so in the terms of how much traffic a website gets this is ranked 1469 and then the details of who that person that owns this website is and the page source which gives you the code so lots of great reasons to have that so that's one of the reasons the browser itself is much more beneficial to you than Internet Explorer could ever be and it's a very powerful tool for research we've showed you many times the power of the wonder wheel and how that can make you super important in the search engines we've shown you related keywords many times where you can take a main keyword use a little bit of cleverness LSI grab yourself keywords related to that that can help you score higher in the search engines the video results are an absolute must at the moment because video is so powerful this little tool over here that's below the ads these are the ads that you pay for this is the ones that you say to Google I would love to have my keyword on your ads and Google say yeah cool no problems just pay me some money for that click this tool here shows me the keywords this person is using now over a period of time you can work out who the top players are just by knowing their keywords and watching their standings and where they are that's a powerful tool you know the keywords to work on so you can instantly score high in both Google scoring rates and what the punters want for that keyword whichever it happens to be so that's a great thing to have very powerful tool also if we look up here we've got some icons that I've got added on extra I've just shown you the SEO quake you've seen that one this is an Alexa rank which shows the traffic going to that page this is a fantastic tool which lets me cloak pretty much or shorten as most people say any link that I want to so if I'm testing something if I'm trying to sell something I can go to any page I like click this button here and that will give me a short URL that I can then go and check the details of how many people are doing things there okay great little tool so basically that page instead of being there will just look like this and I would just copy that put it in a link put it on a web page and I'd be able to chase and trace all those people that click and where they go and where they come from this instantly lets me get to my gmail account again very powerful tool gmail when it comes to making money online this is just a page rank checker which is not on at the moment and then we've got the the tools and there are lots of tools and I'm not here to show you how to use Google Chrome but when you go down to the tools and extensions this then takes us to where we can get those extensions the kind of things that could make this browser so much more powerful so clicking on extensions brings you to where your extensions are for your browser and it's telling me that I've got seven extensions and you can see in there we spoke about the SEO Quake uh, the page rank the Google Mail Checker the shortener the Alexa traffic rate um, what this is I don't quite know but anyway when you go over to get more extensions you will click this button and be taken to a whole host of great stuff that you can use so then we've clicked the link and we come to the go Chrome a web store I don't know why they call it a web store I don't think you actually spend money in here not that I'm aware of the, I don't spend a lot of time in these places I know which apps and which extensions I should be using I don't have the time to go and browse and play about with this stuff I'm sure there's stuff that I'm missing but I have all the tools that I need so you know you can pretty much come into this place and grab lots and lots tweet deck I'm using it's a great one there's some great little apps great little add-ons basically these are the stuff that go into your toolbars and it's telling you which are the top extensions that people are using uh, and all I can see is free ones I don't think you actually pay for anything in here 
But again, we obviously show you the best ones, even top themes that you can put on it. Again, I just use the basic one. And if to get into extensions, you can hit the more categories and see them all. See what you're interested in. You can go in and pretty much get anything you want in there. Some of the developers' tools are really powerful stuff. Um, I use SEO Quake, as I said. Google Chrome actually hates, or Google hates SEO Quake. Absolutely hate it, which is why I switch it on and all off the time. But it's a great tool. <laughs> if they hated it that bad, it wouldn't be on there. So basically, the Chrome browser is a fantastic browser. I mean, it really does do what it's supposed to do. It does what you ask it. It stores information really well. It gets you lots of information that you need to know about your keyword based on using the tools, these fantastic tools. I can instantly know what I'm up against, instantly know which ones I should be targeting these in order to get the advice, the information, the products that I need. Okay, great browser. I highly suggest you go and get it. So, tools for success. Definitely Google Chrome. I've been using Google Chrome extensively now, and by that I mean every day since the day it was launched. I was on the, the beginning of this. Up to then I was using Mozilla Firefox, and Mozilla is still a great tool, and I still do use Mozilla as part of my marketing. So, which is another great thing that you should understand. Having Google Chrome as your browser on your website, or on your um, PC, or your laptop, makes no difference. You can have the free browsers. You can have Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, and the Firefox Mozilla, and have them all on. What happens is one of them wants to become your main browser. You could decide which one of those is. For me, it's Google Chrome. For you, it's your decision. But I highly recommend that if you're serious about making money on the internet and you want things to happen fast and you want to see instant results, you need a browser that does that for you. Google Chrome definitely hits the spot. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you've learned something. At least go and get it, test it out, see what you think and let me know. Let me know what you think. Ask me some questions and I'll see what I can come up with. Thanks for watching. See you soon.